I don't care about sex. 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 I've never cared about sex in my entire life. Now, I know this may come as a surprise to most people watching this, especially men, because most men care about sex. But I'm not like most men, okay? When I say I'm built different, that has various different meanings to it. And this is one of those meanings. I don't care about sex. And this is something that it took me a very, 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 very... Okay, listen. All right. So for some of you that may not know, right? This dude, his name is Jordan Green. He's like a self-development YouTuber. You feel me? So, you know, he, he helps like he helps young dudes improve themselves. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Right. So, first of all, I don't know why he's saying I don't care about sex. I don't care about sex so many times. Now, the title of this video, as y'all can see, is sex is overrated. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know what he got going on, but I disagree. Sex is not overrated. As a matter of fact, we need sex as a human population to procreate and reproduce. If you want to have a family, you're going to have to have sex. So you can't say sex is overrated. But he's not looking at it like that, I'm assuming. You get what I'm saying? He's looking at it like, well, most men just have sex just to, you know, have sex. Now, in that aspect, then I can agree. You get what I'm saying? Most young dudes... You get what I'm saying? That are just horn dogs. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, I know. I used to be one myself. Um, just want to sleep around. So I understand. I understand where he's coming from in that aspect. But to just say that sex is overrated overall is crazy. Like that's just crazy to me. Like you get what I'm saying? Because I disagree. Sex is not overrated. Um, I feel like sex is a wonderful thing. You know, it's a way to connect and bond with your partner in a very intimate way and not only that the result of having sex is producing another human being <laughs> you get what i'm saying what can be more beautiful than that you get what i'm saying so for him to be saying sex is overrated is just crazy to me like you know i disagree i disagree man very long time to come to terms with i'm talking about up until recently when i was at the airbnb with ice cold jt and my friend bryce wilson and we were talking about this exact topic. And I admitted to them that I don't care about sex. I genuinely don't. And I feel like in the past, I kind of made excuses or I was just in denial in general about this. Okay, I thought that because other men cared about sex, that meant that I had to care about sex as well. It's not true. I just don't care about sex. I'm different. I think differently. I'm wired differently. Something that I've realized as of late is that I feel like the way that most men think about sex is the way that I think about success. Okay, and you guys help me fill in the blanks here because I'm just working based on assumptions because like I said, I don't think about sex and I don't think like other men, so I'm just assuming that this is how most of you guys think. But I'm assuming that for you, you don't have to force yourself to think about sex. Sex is the natural predominant thought in your mind. Assuming that there's not something crazy going on in your life or something crazy going on in that exact moment, sex is the predominant or even predominant subconscious thought in the back of your mind, as opposed to being a subsidiary thought in the back of your mind. You don't have to force yourself to think about it. It's just completely natural for you. In my case, success takes the place of sex in that context. I don't have to force myself to think about success. It is natural. I naturally think about it 95% of the time. Okay, 95% of my day, I am thinking about- Okay, as you should. You should think about success. You know, su success, should be on every young dude's mind you know what i'm saying as a matter of fact that should be your first priority is success to be successful but i will also say that every young man should inspire to one day have a family have kids get married you know what i'm saying that's just my personal opinion you get what i'm saying you don't have to just constantly just sleep around all the time. I mean, you can if you want. I, I don't judge. You feel me? If that's what you want to do, then do you. You know what I'm saying? Do you. Live your life. You feel me? I feel like even if you are one of those dudes that sleep around a lot and stuff like that, I would also advise you, right, that eventually you should start thinking about having a family. I think he's just coming off as like, you know, well, like he was saying, he's just assuming that most dudes... When they think about sex, they're just looking at it from the perspective that they just want to sleep around with multiple females when 
that 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 may be most dudes, but you know, there are dudes out here that are not addicted to sex and they're not like sex addicts or anything, but there are dudes out here that want to have families and, you know, want to have children. Like me, for example. I want to have a family one day. I want to have kids. I want to continue my bloodline, my, my legacy. You, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh, success. Being successful. Thinking about getting to that next level of success, whether it be with YouTube, writing, fitness. Stop being so nice to women. Nice will never equal turned on. Or attracted to These you. ads are no. so cringy. Anything else in between. I'm thinking about success. Now, the reason why I know I'm not completely asexual is because I do think about sex from time to time. Okay, that 95% of the time that I think about success, there's also that 5% where I think about sex. Did this sex. dude just say asexual? Okay, it's very, very rare. And even though I can enjoy sex from a physical standpoint, Hence why I found pleasure in the PMO cycle and why I needed to start doing NoFap. I feel like intellectually, I have trouble enjoying sex because I just don't see the point of it. I don't see the point in doing something that you purely derive physical pleasure from. I just... And that's why, I, this is where I come in. He just said he does not see the point in having sex, right? So... I'm assuming this dude does not plan on having a family one day. He doesn't plan on getting married, having kids, etc. Right? He's just on the type of timing. I'm just trying to build myself up, be successful, make money. And that's cool. You feel me? I, as every young man should be on that type of timing. But there is a point to sex, man. Like, for you to say there's no point to it is kind of crazy to me. Like, there is a point to it. This dude is on some, like, I don't know, man. That's... I don't understand it. I understand it, but I don't understand it. I don't understand the hype behind sex. Nah, you now, just, you just on a different type of time, and that's the type of time you on. But I'm not a virgin. I am not a virgin. My body count is one. I've only had sex with one girl, and it was a girl that I was in a relationship with. I would say, on average, we had sex probably two to three times a week. Okay, this might be a little TMI, but I'm just putting this out there to give you guys more context as to how I came to this conclusion. We would probably have sex two to three times a week, and I probably finished five times, at most. Five times at most. I can count on one hand the amount of times that I finished in, what, a seven-month relationship, six-and-a-half-month relationship, having sex on average two to three times a week. And it's not because I didn't enjoy having sex physically. Okay, I thought that it was a great emotional bonding experience, but at the same time, I didn't really see the point in doing it, especially having protected sex. I understand if you want to have kids or something like that, which, believe me, I am nowhere near wanting to have kids. Nowhere near wanting to have kids. I'm 22 years old. I don't want kids anytime soon. But I feel like unless you're going to have kids, what's the point? Yes, it's pleasurable. It feels good, but I just don't get it. And I feel like every time I would have sex, I would think about this. Now, I want to take it... That's the point. Most people have sex because it feels good. And it's a way to be intimate with your partner. So, yes, the main goal or the main priority of having sex should be to have kids. But there's nothing wrong with having sex, like, with your girlfriend or your wife. You know, just to make each other feel good. Because that... That's also another part that goes into having sex. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I don't... I don't know where he's going with this, man. I, I really don't. But, like, I understand that, you know, he's not into, like, having sex. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But, like, to say that it's overrated is crazy. I've never... Out of all the dudes that I've hung around in my entire life, I've never heard a dude say... Sex is overrated. I've never heard not one dude say that. You get what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, if you do hear a dude say sex is overrated, that dude is probably not getting a lot of cheeks. He's not getting no cheeks. He's probably socially awkward when it when it comes to talking females. I'm not saying that that that's him. You get what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, usually when you hear dudes say that, oh, sex is not all that, it's, it's overrated, Those those are usually dudes that are socially awkward, they don't get a lot of cheeks, you get what I'm saying, stuff like that, they probably only had one girlfriend in their entire life, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, like, 
but uh, uh. Get further back to a video that I made in late 2020. If you've been subscribed to me since then, you might remember this video. The video was called How I Almost Lost My V-Card. Now, at the time, I was still a virgin. I ended up losing my virginity to my ex-girlfriend probably January, February of 2021, so a few months later. But this was around September of 2020. I was talking to a girl from Tinder. Second time ever seeing her in person, I ended up in her bed. How that happened, I have absolutely no clue. But I ended up in her bed, and I didn't do anything because I didn't feel compelled to do anything sexually. Now, I remember I made a video talking about this and people lit me up in the comment section. People told me I was gay, people told me I was weird, all types of crazy shit, bro. And the conclusion that I came to was that I was just scared. That's what I assumed. And I do think that there is a lot of truth to that sentiment. I do think that I was scared. I was too scared to do anything. Homeboy was nervous. That he I was nervous. Kissed a girl We've all been so there. It made sense, okay? I was scared. Whatever. We've all been there. But I think that she took that out of context. Okay, I feel like she thought that I didn't find her attractive. Even though I did, I found her to be attractive. Otherwise, I wouldn't have ended up in her bed in the first place. But I think that she thought that I didn't find her attractive because I didn't make sexual advancement towards her. Therefore, she assumed that I didn't like her. And then she started to distance herself. And I remember I ended up in her bed one more time after that. I still didn't make a move. And then she ghosted me. And at the time, it blew my mind. It completely blew my mind. I couldn't understand why she ghosted me. But retrospectively, I realize now that that same exact thing has happened on multiple occasions. I just wasn't aware of it. You see, what I've realized, and this could be a limiting belief in my mind, and that's kind of why I'm unpacking it in this video, but I feel like sometimes girls feel like because I don't make sexual advancements towards them, that must mean that I don't like them. But that could not be further from the truth. Okay, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I don't like sex. I don't care about sex. And for me, when I look at a girl... Yo, this is sex, crazy, I bro. I and find her physically attractive. Nah, bro. And want to be with her... This dude Basically, said, I don't right, like sex. Nah, this now. dude is crazy, me, bro. What comes Come out on, physical bro. attraction is emotional intimacy, not sexual intimacy. And I think that's where the divide occurs between me and most other men. I don't think about sex. That link, that neurological link that connects physical attraction to sexual attraction does not exist in my mind. It doesn't exist. I don't know why. I don't know how that occurred, but it just doesn't exist. Wow. So when I see a girl, my first impulse. Is yeah, this to dude is asexual. <laughs> this dude is asexual for for sure, I'm the for type sure. Of person who instead of flirting, likes deep conversations. I like deep, intimate conversations, even invasive conversations. Okay, cool. I'm the type of person who wants to get to know somebody's. Yo, bro, you do realize that you can have deep conversations and flirt at the same time, right? You do know that's possible. Like you can flirt while having a deep conversation at the same time it's possible bro like what like intricacies and nuances they're idiosyncrasies why do you think the way that you think okay why are you the way that you are what childhood trauma did you go through these are the types of conversations that i like to have with girls okay especially now now that i have an understanding of inner child trauma and how that can affect the way that you develop over time. Okay, a lot of times, man, I'll be talking to a girl and I'll just go full Jordan Green life coach mode on them. <laughs> because that's just how I am. That's how I am. That's what I care about. Those are the conversations that I like to have. And I feel like any girl that I've been with in the past can attest to that. I just like to have deep conversations. I'm very big on emotional intimacy. That is what I care about. And to my point earlier, I feel like that kind of throws girls off because they feel like I don't like them or they feel like I just want to be friends with them. But no, that doesn't mean that I want to be friends with you. It just means that I don't care about sex and this is my way of getting closer to you and building that bond. Now, I do feel like once I develop that emotional intimacy, that's when I can start to feel a little bit of that sexual attraction. But even then, it's negligible, especially compared to other men. Okay, I feel like most other men, they're willing to do whatever it takes to get a woman in bed with them. For me, I don't care. A girl could tell me that she wants to save herself for marriage. She could tell me that she wants to save herself for the remainder of her life. I won't care. Okay, obviously that's hyperbole, but I think you get my point. I don't care about sex. Uh, I do not care about sex. I never okay, we get it. We get it. <laughs> we get it, bro. You're asexual. You don't like sex. We get it. Oh my gosh, man. I've never heard a dude talk like this about sex, bro. That's crazy. We get it, bro. We get it. You know what I'm saying? You don't like cheeks. That's tough. 
all seriousness though, like bro, like you can't be like that though. Like like I'm not even trying to come at homeboy, but like you cannot be like that, bro. Because especially if you plan on having a family one day and having kids, okay, nobody's saying that you have to be like a sex addict and you have to be out here sleeping with multiple girls. Nobody's saying that. But bro, like to say that sex is overrated and like it's just like not necessary. If you want to have a family, then it's for sure necessary. You get what I'm saying? And also, if you want to be intimate with somebody, like, on an emotional and sexual level, then yes, it is necessary. So, it's not overrated, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just, you just on some, like, asexual type of timing. I'm not trying to come at you, but I'm just saying, like, you just on some, like, I don't know. But yeah, man, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. You feel me? And I'll see y'all on the next video.